New at 6. She was arrested for giving dying patients false hope. Now, this Treasure Coast woman right here is going to pay the price. Earlier this year, the Contact 5 investigators revealed the disturbing details of what victims said happened inside a Stewart Wellness Center. Tonight, its former owner agrees to face the consequences for it. Here's Contact 5 investigator Katie Legrone. A once self described doctor who had all the answers this morning. Lynette, did you want to say anything? We don't have a comment. Lynette Blake had little to say to us. No comment. And a Martin County judge. That you are not contesting or disputing the case against you, that such pleas have the same effect as a guilty plea. Nearly a year after her initial arrest, Blake, former owner of the Back to Eden Wellness Center in Stewart, agreed to face the consequences for her year-long role of playing doctor. She faces more than 50 charges, including practicing without a license. Well, I mean, she's came out pretending to be a doctor, and the reason we license our doctors is so they don't, don't do any harm. These images, first shown by the Contact 5 investigators in February, reveal Blake's elaborate scheme, her office equipped with medical tools to treat the health-seeking, desperately hoping, and often terminally ill. The cancer patients that she, that she treated certainly um, you know, gave them false hope. Her claim was that she could cure the cancer, that she could cure methylphelioma. Christine Hughes told us how her husband Johnny was dying by the time Blake treated him with a cocktail of unknown IV drugs. Cancer ultimately took his life, but Blake, Christine said, stole his final days. I believe in my heart she, she pushed him into his grave a whole lot quicker than he should have gone. People believed you. People with cancer believed you. After pleading no contest today, Blake faces one to 15 years in prison. She deserves all 15 years. She doesn't deserve the sympathy of anybody. She didn't care about the people that she was hurting. Well, this Why would you do this? this trick, I swear I you. Lynette Blake will be sentenced August 1st. Do you feel bad about it? Can you stop? Because I. Mm. For Christine, sentencing day can't come soon enough. She's a despicable human being who doesn't deserve any, any sympathy. In Martin County, Katie Legrone, WPTV. Have a nice day. News Channel 5.